Hey guys, Sam here, and I'm here to do a review on my bike, the Beast. That's right, that's what I call it. A bit weird, but what can you do? Uh, the bike I'm riding this season, this year, you know, however long it lasts me, hopefully a long time, is uh, the Giant Trans Advanced. Uh, I guess it doesn't really have a number because I custom built it. Um, but here, let's get it started. Okay, so here we have the giant trans advanced frame that you can buy by itself. Um, so far, so good. And very light carbon front end, uh, aluminum back triangle. Okay, and on that, I've slapped all the parts I've been riding for a bit now. Uh, but let's get it started. In the front, we have. The RockShock Pike uh, RTC3 with uh, high speed and low speed compression. It's a great, great fork. Super, super plush, but also pretty stiff. Does the job. I'm a big fan of it. Okay. Uh, up in the cockpit, we have a Regley. 45 millimeter stem uh, So far so good. I've only been riding it a month or so so I haven't had much time on it I just popped on a Renthal fat bar carbon uh, 780 With a 30 millimeter rise so far so good. I can't really say I feel a ton of difference from the carbon over aluminum but all in all, seems like a, a decent, uh, decent handlebar. Just popped on a new pair of ODI Ruffian grips. Uh, I'm pretty happy with those. I... Over here we got an XX1. Can't really see it. There we go. And the XX1 shifter and saint brake levers yeah. and a bond trager seat post lever those saint levers are connected up to a set of shimano xt brakes it's a bit of a strange setup but i wanted to upgrade and I didn't want to switch the whole brake and pay like 200 bucks a piece. So I just switched out the levers. Um, was a little nervous that it wouldn't do anything. But in the end, it, uh, it took off a minimal amount of weight. And uh, <clears throat> actually made the brakes feel stronger, which was surprising, but good. I went on Shimano. XT rotors with the ice tech technology front and back Front and back I'm running 180 Which is a nice size good stopping power <clears throat> And I really can't fault these brakes. They're super solid super strong Don't make any noise like some of the other brakes in the market um, I've always been a fan of them and uh, I don't think I'm ever going to leave Shimano. Okay, let's move on to the drivetrain. I'm running an XX1 SRAM carbon crank. Great crank. Uh, I have a Black Spire snaggle tooth, 1x11 narrow wide 30 tooth chain ring. I'm running the Chester race face pedals, which are great pedals. I know they're nylon pedals, but so far I've smacked them up and they haven't broken. I have the race face hoodies on my crank, 
you know, just to stop any of those hard hits on the bottom of each crankshaft. This especially carbon, you don't really want to smash it too hard. I'm running a KMC golden plated 11 speed chain. And in the back, this is where it gets interesting. I have a SRAM X01 11 speed derailleur and an XT 11 on 46 cassette. And most people would say, ah, how could that possibly work together? But it actually works great together. I have no complaints. Super solid. Okay, let's move on to the back shock. Got some sun on it. Let's move out of the way. I'm running the Super Deluxe Rock Shocks back shock. Uh, it's a decent shock. It has high speed uh, compression, three settings of uh, soft, uh, medium, and firm. On my last bike, I was running the Fox Float X, which I kind of prefer because it also had low speed compression couldn't move it over to here because it wasn't compatible. Whatever, not the end of the world. This is also a great shock. Can't complain. That's the lever. Medium, firm, open. All in all, a very solid shock. I like it. I also enjoy having that uh, second shaft for keeping the heat down on the oil. Moving up, we got the giant contact SL seat post running a 150 millimeter shaft, uh, which is at great length. I was curious about putting on a 175, but I didn't think I could fit it in the frame. But now that I see that, that's a pretty big distance I might be able to and maybe eventually I'll try and upgrade to a 150. Uh, again I've kind of mixed and matched using the giant seat post and the Bontrager lever but I haven't had any problems yet. They run great together. I just put on a WTB Pure saddle, the race version of it. Super comfortable seat, super happy with it. Um, I was gonna go with the Pro Gel, but I realized it was like a hundred grams heavier than all the other seats, so I opted out of that and just went for the race. And last but not least, my wheels. So I'm running Hope Pro 2, there we go, Hope Pro 2 hubs. Great hubs, super loud, super awesome. Uh, matched on to Duster 27.5 rims. Um, not the lightest of rims, but super strong. And Bontrager has this cool rim strip insert that changes the rim to a tubeless rim don't need any tape don't need nothing you just pop in this hard insert and you got a tubeless ram super convenient and I built these up with uh, DT Swiss uh, spokes and nipples uh, and so far these wheels have lasted me over two years haven't broken a single spoke uh, just super solid wheels I'm super happy with them and that is my bike guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.